Impulse control disorder is a psychiatric complication in patients with Parkinson's disease treated with dopaminergic agents. They consist in compulsive, repetitive, and potentially harmful behaviors. Impulse control disorders include gambling behavior, hypersexuality, excessive eating, amongst others. ICD exhibits some cognitive abnormalities, such as enhanced risk-taking, changes in reward learning, and problems in cognitive control. ICDs are characterized by repetitive actions and loss of control over familiar items that results in excessive behaviors. Important defining criteria of the disorder include mainly three points. The first one is an enhanced motivational signal in the reward dopaminergic system. The second one includes cognitive control problems that result in failure to resolve temptation to the stimuli of interest. And the third one is the gratification or pleasure obtained from the impulsive act. Dysfunctions in ICD are partly associated to ventral striatum abnormal response, especially to the mesocortical connectivity. However, the neural mechanisms underlying its ICD subdomain are largely unclear. In the present study, we have been investigating patients with a specific type of impulse control disorder, namely hypersexuality, using erotic stimuli to see whether the neural computational mechanisms that lead to disturb decision making in this patient are specifically um, um, leading to difference in brain activity uh, at the stage of the evaluation process. The previous study has been uh, investigating a patient with hypersexuality um, while passively viewing erotic stimuli. They found in particular that there is a posterior cingulate, ventral striatum and orbitofrontal cortex that was um, engaged in, in viewing such erotic stimuli in this patient, but there were no active decisions made in this task. So here we wanted to investigate more specifically the valuation system and the decision-making system. We used a delayed discounting task. Patients had to decide between two options, wait for one second and a half to briefly view an erotic image, or rather wait for longer to see the erotic image for longer. On each trial, the FASI queue was presented briefly. Then a proposed waiting time was displayed, where a decision had to be made. If accepted, they experienced the proposed waiting time to see the image. We computed the subjective value of choices, derived from ratings of the images taken as benefits and the waiting times, the costs of each decision. For example, if a highly valued image was presented in the FASI queue with a small waiting time or cost, the benefits will be high and subjective value increases, likely to result in acceptance of the cost of waiting. In contrast, if the cost of a decision is guided by large waiting times, the FASI queue is not greatly valued. The subjective value should decrease, as well as the chances of accepting the offer. At the behavioral level, we see significant differences between the groups in the delayed discounting rates. Healthy controls have an elevated discounting rate, suggesting they are less likely to wait to get the reward. However, the ICD group, while medicated, have a reduced discounting rate, suggesting that they are capable and they tolerate waiting times to get the erotic images. And this is not the case while well, off-medicated with elevated discounting rates. At the brain system level, the behavior is paralleled by the fact that ICD patients, as compared to controls and Parkinson's disease patients, show the negative correlation between the subjective value of the delay reward and activity in the medial prefrontal cortex and the ventral striatum. At the time of the outcome when the reward was shown, the anterior medial prefrontal cortex showed an interaction between patients and medication, indicating that dopaminergic treatment increased activity of this brain region and especially for ICD patients when viewing erotic images after waiting to obtain the erotic reward. This is the first time that we use dedicated erotic images to investigate active decision making uh, in the framework of delay discounting in patients with PD with hypersexuality. 
one important novelty of our uh, study is also to use model-based fMRI in this patient to identify the neurocomputational mechanisms that are dysfunctional uh, during subjective evaluation 